Now, when you think of limb transplants, your train of thought might turn to something out of a science fiction movie. Well, not anymore. One Israeli medical startup has found a way to transplant and even reattach severed limbs onto patients. And joining me today in the studio to tell us more about this medical marvel are doctors Amir Rav and Eyal Gul. Thank you so much for joining me today. All right, so I guess my first question is, how exactly does this product work? Does this process work? First, we have uh, to define uh, why do we do that at all. Mm. Um, the idea is that um, today in the world, there, uh, um, let's say, let, let's start with plastic surgery. Plastic surgery, microsurgery is the art of uh, reattaching uh, small blood vessels and nerves under the microscope. And in the reconstructive plastic surgery, uh, when people need uh, or have deficient um, parts of the body, like faces or hands, uh, we're trying to find solutions how to reconstruct those for functional and aesthetic reasons. Um, today, for large defects, like people who do not have faces, for example, because of burn or other injury, or do not have limbs, um, the art is to attach or um, or reconstruct with uh, tissues that are taken from uh, donors, dead brain donors, and those pa patients needs, uh, need uh, some immunosuppression to have those uh, limbs attached and then accepted by their body. Today there's a, sh a main shortage of, tho of those organs, and the idea, can we have a bank of organs so when someone needs such an organ, we'll be able to find out in an easy way and a fast way a replacement organ. So you're trying to pull from this bank to avoid graft versus host. Exactly. Okay. And there's another scenario, for example, at wartime or, or mass casualty injuries where patients uh, that had lost their limbs and need to be resuscitated. They cannot have their limbs attached uh, immediately because they're under risk. So if there's a way to freeze and then thaw their, uh, their amputated limbs or organs, we could transfer those patients to a central hospital. And then after they've been resuscitated, we can reattach those frozen and then thawed uh, limbs or organs back. So in order to do that, Dr. Amir Rav had worked on some kind of idea. Yes, yeah, so I developed a technique, a freezing technique, called the directional freezing, where uh, you can control the ice morphology and the direction of the ice in a perfect way. Now so when you say the morphology and the direction of the ice, what do you, yes. what do you mean by that? So uh, uh, the ice has morphology, right. and you can control the size of the ice crystals, so it's actually the morphology of the ice crystals, and to make them not, not damage to the tissue. So you can do it only by uh, thermodynamics uh, principles, like the directional freezing. Oh, wow. So I developed this technique uh, 25 years ago. And since then, we did uh, many organs and tissue, including a uh, whole ovary. This was done uh, with Professor Pasquale Patrizio in Yale, a uh, human whole ovary. And then we did a uh, whole liver transplantation in the pig. And uh, we did also heart, and we did cartilage. So we did quite a lot of uh, tissue and uh, organs. But I think that the peak is uh, right now the limb, because it's including everything, uh, uh, skin and, right. and muscles and bone and cartilage, so, I everything mean, so, together. So was you know, limb replacement always the end game as you were doing all of these other projects you know, in, over the last right. 20 years? Yes. The idea is that you know uh, the solid organs are very homogeneous in the tissue um, complex that they uh, have within. But if you take a limb, it's a combination of skin and fat and muscle and fascia and nerves and blood vessels, and they all need to survive. And that is really hard. It was really hard to get right. or perform. That, I mean, that that was kind of my next question. You know, what were some of the challenges? What were the greatest challenges you think you faced? in the process from you know, start to finish, or, or from then to now, I guess we could say, because we're never really finished. But when, you know, what, what were those major issues, and how did you overcome them? So uh, the, main, the main issue is the, the, the different organ, the different tissue needs different uh, uh, protocols. And um, we found out that actually uh, one protocol, which is a very, very slow cooling rate, that means the, the freezing process is very slow. 
is actually good for, for all the type of the tissue. And this is why it's uh, make it works. And, and it's not very strange and it's not science fiction because it exists in nature. There are many animals that freeze themselves like during the winter, like frogs, yeah? like a uh, wood frog in Canada. They freeze themselves in the winter for several months and they wake up in the, in the, in the spring. It's amazing. Yes. The other obstacle was reattaching those small organs, tiny organs, with truly using high magnification microscope and small, very small instruments and threads to reattach those right. back to the animal and actually see it flushing with new blood and surviving. Yeah. The, in the past, the problem was that those tissue used to, you know, necrose and die, and we were able to to prove that those tissues are alive now through analysis of the histology and the survival of those tissue by, by high magnification microscopy. So, um, so this was achieved as well. Incredible. I mean, you know, what, what's one of your favorite success stories? Have you been operating on human subjects then for any time? That's next. When, you know, research, basic research in that fashion, we have to prove the concept by applying it to n n larger number of numbers of animals and then larger animals. Yeah. And just then when we're ready uh, with the right instrumentation and the right capability and the right indication and need, the first patient will be operated. So it will take some time. All right, well, I uh, hope to, to interview you again at that day. Yes. And thank you so much for coming in. Thank this is so amazing. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks. Thank you. All right.